All right, this is what I got going on today. Um, Thursday, been a busy, busy week, um, and I'm still going. Getting this stuff knocked out as quick as I can. Still cutting part. Still cutting part. Whole sheet. Another one. I got I got a whole sheet of parts here. Whole sheet on there. Two sheets of parts right there. Six more sheets up there. Uh, I got some drops. I should probably use some of these drops. But I might just keep those for other stuff. We got some scrap piling up. And we're making some progress on the gator beds. Um, this, we needed to get the other job done first. So we did this to keep out of the rain tomorrow or yesterday. Um, so what we got to do now is we got a we got these stake pockets that you know they go on the outside here and we just got they'll go up top like that so i just got to cut my holes out for those um got the front ones mounted and then i gotta do these corners here um and build a tailgate i could probably have it all done tonight if i you know have to stop make videos and such but there's our steak pockets there on the front that's what those will look like that's what was brought to me to copy so mine are built a whole lot nicer they're not bolted together they're actually welded together and then this is the project that I've been working on today um, we got this knocked out. Um, what I've been doing is, uh, anytime I do a, a dump bed like this, I'll usually do a six inch gusset in the, on each end. It actually helps support these, uh, sides because most people will overload, try to get as much material in here. And it pushes out on the sides so with the gussets it eliminates that or it gives it a whole lot more strength um, I have the press brake now so instead of you know shearing any of this off um, this is a full sheet we just broke it we broke it both sides and it really came out nice I'm happy with that um, the material won't get built up in the corners um, that's another benefit of having the the gusseted sides and it dumps out really nice so my customer is going to be very happy with that uh, and we got the aluminum for the pontoon boat probably start on that this coming week um, my week's pretty much over my week's pretty much over. I'm taking a few days off. Um, I need a somewhat of a break. Nice day out today. I even took out the motorbike. That's my uh, ride. It's been sitting in the house for months and was covered with dust. Some work that I did on it. Superman, my Superman symbol. Um, I did some flames. I did these flames a while back. Look at all that dust. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I gotta clean that filter too. I also made these foot pegs half inch stainless cut on a water jet. Um, yep, I still got them on my bike. They've been, they've been on there for quite a few years. But this is a flame job that I did. Look at all that dust. Uh, me and a friend of mine did this paint job. Um, he did all the black. 
you know it goes from fades from nothing to the silver candy flames and then the flames on the fender came out really nice um, but yep that's my ride time to take it out for a cruise I'm out of here